Hello and welcome folks, I am Technivorous. Today we are going to be taking a look at the brand new recently dropped Chidu Box Pro. This is an MSLA slicer and as you can see I have the version number brought up. This is Chidu Box Pro version 1.0.0. .0 .0. We're going to jump into all the great new features as well as show you how to add a machine and do that update you might possibly need to do to your firmware right now on the Technivorous channel. Hey folks, Technivorous here. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, but stick around because today we're going to be talking about some pretty interesting stuff I don't think you're going to want to miss. Alright, here we are in Chidu Box Pro. I definitely recommend giving this a check out. If you don't feel like paying the subscription fee you can jump in and check out the seven day free trial they have going on i'm going to pull a model in here and we're going to check out some of the reasons that you're going to want to go ahead and check out this software there's some pretty cool stuff going on so um, before i grab a model the first thing we need to do is actually set up a machine because i haven't added one yet and we have a nice nice menu for selecting not only the manufacturer but the actual machine themselves so today i am doing the ld002r and castable let's see what profiles they have a couple different ones uh, general purpose resin for lcd and this is our our thickness profile basically how thick we want our model right now it's set to 0 0.05 um, that is that is our layer thickness okay so uh, we'll leave that that's acceptable and now we have our printer in here and you can see it adds this awesome build plate this is what the build plate on the uh, printer actually looks like and you can see that the area it's telling you to print in is slightly smaller than the actual build plate itself. You can get away with going outside this area as long as it's on that actual plate. Uh, it doesn't always work the best, but it does work. So let's go ahead and open a file here. And I clicked out of it there. Whoops. Come on, there we go. Having issues clicking the button there. Um, this is my first time using this software. I mean, I've, I've played with it a little bit, but there we go. So I've brought in my model. It seems to be great out, there we go. There are damaged models in the loaded area. Now this is one of the cool things about Chidu Box Pro is it has this repair function. So let's go ahead and check that out. So let's go to the repair tools. It's gonna open our repair tab. And we have all these options, close small holes, close all holes, remove redundant faces, stitch triangles, repair orientation, all sorts of stuff up here. So um, it is taking a minute to load up and get everything squared away. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. All right, so. If you look down in the bottom left corner here, you can see that it is repairing and it is going to take just a minute. I'll pause the video here and we will come back once it's done repairing and take a look. And here it is, repair complete. You can see the model is patched up. Let's jump back to our prepare section. I want to see some of the t tabs in here. Um, keep the original unprepared model on the build plate. No, we're going to keep the repaired only. Okay, now we are back in prepare mode. And the nice thing about Pro is it has all of these awesome hotkey hints over here, okay? So in the start box, they change. You can see the open, save project, all of that stuff. And there is a little scroll bar here. So don't forget to check out all of the bottom ones. And it changes depending on which tab you're in. So it's pretty handy to be able to see what your options are depending on what you're doing at the time. So let's go ahead and check out some of the other options here. Obviously, we have the regular tools on the left here. Move, rotate, scale, and all that. We are going to go ahead and rotate this guy. Uh, we're going to rotate him up on the Y. We'll just use the negative button. And there we are. And you know what? Let's throw some scale on there. We'll make this, I think, 300 across the board. There we go. That's rather large, but a lot better, a lot easier to see. So um, some of the coolian, coolian, cool things you can do. Um, I said coolian because I was looking at the Boolean button here. This is something new that they've added, and we'll actually try this out right now. Let's go ahead and get, I have another simple model here somewhere. 
my STLs. Um, okay, you know what? Yeah, let's let's do that. So let's go to open and all right, my STLs. There's one in here. There it is. This is just a cylinder, so um, we'll take take. Ooh, I want them. I got them both selected. Um, select all all right there we go so this is actually good for me because I did do this with a different model but this is the top of a staff and as you can see from the bottom there's no hole in it so what we can do is grab this scale take that and then we're just quickly checking out some of these tools. I'm going to unlock the ratio and we're going to pull up on this guy. No, it didn't. Come on. Scale. Unlock ratio. Okay, now. Should be able to just increase. There we go. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm going to do is move this over here into the middle of the snake. And this does take just a minute to line up. It'd help if I could grab the the button there. You know what? Bam. There we go. We centered it. We're going to take it down so it's not popping out the chest. And then we're going to grab this model and just center that too. And that'll get it left, right, centered. And then we should just be able to manipulate it forward. There we go. This guy's got to go down a little more. <clears throat> there we go. Let's we'll move that up for now. All right. So we're testing out this Boolean button. So let's do Boolean operation. Okay. This is really cool the way this is set up. Where did my tab go? There we go. Oh man, you're making me mad. Okay. There. Okay. So um, the snake is going to be the solid. The rod is going to be what we remove. We're looking to remove A minus B. So um, and then keep the original model. Let's apply. It's going to take it some time to do its thing. And there we go. We have the new model with the whole cutouts. So let's go ahead and delete that. Delete that. And we will center this now. All right. Pretty cool. That was pretty simple. It went really fast. I actually didn't have to pause the video or anything. There are some other things here in the prepare side that I want to check out, such as add tag. This is an interesting, fun little tool here. Let's see, we're gonna use impact because it's strong. And let's see. So I haven't used this tool yet, so I'm kind of figuring it out as I go. And I'm not quite clear on how to do my typing yet. So it says apply. Then I click over here. It's just the file. Hmm. You know, figuring out how to work this stuff's half the battle. And we will click the add tag button here and then we'll just double click in here. Now basically this is where it's going to start. So I'm going to do right in the corner here, and we are adding to the model, not the platform. You can add to the platform. What I'm going to do is go ahead, and we're just going to type Technivorous in here, okay? And then if I click Apply, it'll let me choose a place to put it on the model. It should bring it in here. If I click on the model I want, click Apply. 
there we go so now I have this text here and it kind of forms to where I'm placing it on the model so let's zoom in uh, this isn't the best model to be doing this on because of the texture of the top of it it's kind of distorting my placement <clears throat> so probably not the best example here but we'll go ahead and click it and see what we get here you can see some of the normals are crossing that's I don't think that's the software I think that's my fault in fact um, we can attempt to do the same thing on the build plate just to be sure that it's uh, not not if you were putting it on a flat surface I think it would be a lot better so all of these tangents here are projected from it came out all right a um, little bit choppy because of the uh, the way the those uh, bumps are abnormal there let's try adding it to the build plate and we want it to be raised up click apply There it goes. It's down below there. It's off centered. So it is there though. Uh, and we can adjust the height for all of that with these perimeters here. For depth, I have five millimeters. That's that's how high that is. Um, probably bust those to pieces trying to get them off the build plate if I didn't use support. So support's definitely a good thing. They've done a lot of things. Whoops. A lot of things to update it. Well, we just got rid of the whole model. So we'll just clear this out. And I actually wanted to bring in a different model anyway. So let's go back to start here. open we'll open this guy this is just a little coin I made that I think is kind of nifty so let's see let's check out the okay prepare we'll just go through these so I don't want to split the model I don't need to copy it the auto orientation will try and it's got it set like that that's not bad if you look uh, we've already done the add tag let's try it again on a flat surface though so let's click apply Nope, we want to add to the model this time. We'll let it do its work. Take just a second here to uh, punch that in. I think it should come out a lot clearer on a flat surface. I just want to make sure that I'm doing this software justice here because there's some really powerful tools in here, and I am digging them. Uh, one of the th <clears throat> One of the things we're going to get into in just a minute is support and infill. There are several new infill options, and the custom support options are pretty amazing now. So we'll take a look at all of those things and more. This is going to be a pretty in-depth look. I'm really, really into this software and some of the things that you can do with it. And here we are. It's added it to the... This, this is from before when I added it to the build plate. Um, but it did do a pretty good job of making that that normal there let's get rid of this model too let's bring in something new to do the supports with so we gotta close this out start open just have a bunch of random files in here stuff that I made and things like that um, let's check out this one this is one that I wonder how they would orient it because I print a lot of these so uh, for those of you that don't know no this is Kaz Brecker's cane from Shadow and Bone. I sculpted this myself in ZBrush, and it's been a pretty popular item in my Etsy store. But let's go back to prepare. Once again, auto orient. It's actually pretty close to how I had it. Um, and then I think it's not telling me this model needs repairs. There are a ton of tries on this guy. I mean, it is really, really, really high poly. Let's go to support. Um, by the way, this is loading a lot faster. That model used to take forever to load on standard Chidu box. So everything I've done so far, um, there are a few little things as far as clicking on things and them disappearing and then coming back that I think they need to work on. But so far, this is pretty amazing. So you can actually set all of these perimeters here and see exactly what they are a lot more in-depth than they used to be. Um, let's take this... I don't like it going into the model so much as right there. There we go. Um, and we'll take that down a notch too, thin it out. I think make that a little bit longer. I mean, just the things you can do are, are, are amazing in here. So, uh, And then I can put this support in here with this shape to support that side. 
And then I can make some other customizations here. And it doesn't alter that one. It'll just change the one below it. So we're going to take that back up. We don't want that smaller than the other piece. That's about perfect. Uh, and it does still have... Um, there's some advanced support settings in here. A lot to go over. We'll have in-depth videos on those a little bit more later. But it does still have the add operation. So it will remove the current support. Yes, go ahead. We'll see where it puts all our stuff at. One of the cool things is you can now add branches off of other branches. And you see these all these options down here. And we will peek at those in just a second. Um, so basically, uh, you can pick tree-like, contour, branch, things like that. So let's, let's look at the contour. And you can see that it's, it's adjusting based on the contour setting. The tree-like is pretty cool it's pretty sparse support but it works really well um we'll we'll go over all of these options and, and check out other things as well the small pillars if you just want something tiny um, and you can drag and say uh, i have this support bar here and i want a little bit more support going from the model there you know that's pretty epic that you can basically hand draw in little support pieces like that so um, the other tools they have in here are analyze and measure tools so size tools um, things like that so two point distance that's a good one if I want to see how far it is from the top of the model here to the very tip of the model it tells me 25.49 millimeters that's pretty cool um, that's a very very valuable tool I use that um, in in so if I need the diameter of this circle here Okay. And it'll leave it there. So I can spec out my object in 3D and kind of kind of get a very good idea of what's going on. So uh, right now we're looking at a single parameter slice. This is going to work great with what I'm doing because I haven't updated the firmware on the uh, LD002R yet. It, if your printer is on the list of printers included in Chudu Box, you don't need to update, but you won't be able to use the multi-parameter slices until you update your firmware so now that I've done that there are or once I do that there are other options and we will get into those as well there's just so much to go over in here I'm really really happy with this process and this print so um, or I, I this this uh, slicer there's tons of stuff in here it's definitely at least worth checking out the seven day trial there's so many more options than regular chew box I believe this is going to be worth your payment for a subscription in fact I've already gotten my year subscription because I know I'm gonna be using it a lot a lot a lot and when you download it it will give you the information about updating your firmware we'll have another video on that coming up shortly I just wanted to touch on the fact that this was released now and recommend that you definitely check out the seven-day trial even if you don't get yourself the full version permanently you're gonna be sad that you're missing out on all of these awesome new features we didn't touch too much on all of the options in support or in repair and there are a few other things in the start and prepare menu that we didn't go over, such as the standard things they always had, hollow, dig hole. You can now cut the item on a plane, things like that. So this is a really, really powerful slicer. I like where they're going with this. I, I got to give it a 5 out of 5, guys. Honestly, this is the best SLA or, or MSLA slicer I've seen. Hands down, if you're doing resin prints, um, you owe it to yourself to check out. Chidu Box Pro for sure. Give it a download. Check out the seven day trial. I'll put a link down below to the download site. And you guys let me know what you think down in the comments down below. I know some people were complaining because they didn't want to pay for this service. But honestly, guys, um, not everybody is going to give their software away for free. I mean, people got to make a profit. And uh, it, it, it honestly inspires competition. So until I find a free slicer that can do what this one does for me for what I pay for it, um, this is my slicer for resin printing. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, hit that subscribe button. We'll have plenty more videos. I plan to do a playlist including a bunch of the different options in here. We'll dedicate a video to each of these and go a little bit more in depth. I realize that uh, it seems like I'm fumbling around with some of this stuff, but it is. It's brand new. It just came out last night, um, and I've been diving into it since then, but there are some awesome things in here and I've barely scratched the surface so we'll see you in the next one guys stick around guys I got another YouTube recommended video for you right here and if you haven't already subscribe 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 make sure that you smash that like button we'll see you in the next one technivorous out